is electric. Good morning everyone and welcome to Norfolk, sunny Norfolk. We're in the middle of nowhere out here. I've brought you to a place called Barton Broad today and I've done that to film this, the EcoFlow Delta Mini. Um, this is what I want to talk about today, these portable batteries, portable generator, portable solar power station, whatever the term is you want to call them. Big battery, capable of charging from 12 volt DC, from home AC connections or solar panels, either portable ones or fixed panel, big ones. And as you can see, I'm gonna be powering here uh, an air fryer and a Lavazza coffee maker, charging my uh, tablet, recharging my cameras, doing all of these things from this portable battery. But I've labeled this video vehicle to load for every car, vehicle to load for every electric car. So let's get going. Uh, bear with me for a few minutes because I want to explain why I think everyone's going to want one of these batteries, whether it's an EcoFlow or whether it's a different one, but these portable batteries are what you want. You really do. Even though you don't think you want one now and you don't realize what the benefit is, that's what I'm going to explain in this video. The vehicle to load, what do I mean? Well, vehicle, obviously it's a car or a van, etc., and load. Household appliance, so whatever country and whatever voltage you have, household appliances to be powered from your vehicle. Now, what you're seeing in um, new cars, new electric cars coming out, you've got things like the Honda E, the MG ZS EV, the Ionic 5, the EV6, they've all got vehicle to load, but they're doing it very differently. The Honda E has got a plug socket in the middle of the car, up with the driver, the, um, MG ZS, do you know, I'm not actually sure where the plug socket is for that, but the Ionic 5 and the EV6 is on the outside of the car. You connect an adapter onto the Type 2 charging socket of the car, and then you run a cable from that socket to wherever you want to be. It's ideal if you're going to go camping or something like that, and you can put your car exactly where you want the power. So if you can get your car close enough, or if you've got a long enough extension lead that you're allowed or safe to run, then those are fine. The idea of them, you know, let's talk about vehicle to load. We've always wanted power on our car. We've always wanted game station consoles in the back for the kids. We've always wanted to charge our laptops. We've always wanted some sort of power in our car. And all we've got is a 12 volt battery, normally in a car. And that 12 volt battery with its DC connector, the old cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter, how about that? Cars used to come with a lighter to set light to a cigarette, to light up a cigarette. Why was that? Because it was convenient. So bear that in mind as we go forward. So all you had before was this DC 12 volt socket, which has a very low wattage capability of what it can charge. So you often found that people that wanted to charge and to power things from those sockets would have a special little mini fridge that was low power with a DC connector. You'd find little um, kettles, etc., and hobs that you would be able to power for those things. You'd have separate devices with separate power capability. <laughs> Air fryer's just gone off. And uh, that's how we used to cope. Now the problem with that was the amount of power that would come from the 12 volt battery. So either you ran your battery down or you didn't have very much power at all. And how do you recharge the battery so that you can continue powering things? Well, you turn on the engine, don't you? It's a self-charging system, which uses a petrol engine to charge the 12 volt battery so you can then power appliances. Well, with an electric car, you don't have to do that. With an electric car, you've got the high voltage battery already there. You've got a huge energy source. What you need is an inverter to invert that DC power into AC power. And that's what you get with a vehicle to load. It converts the power out of your high voltage battery and gives it to you in AC power that you can then use for household appliances with three pin plugs in the UK, 13 amp devices. This is a portable battery, so it's not connected to the car physically. So my car's over there somewhere. I don't need to run an extension lead here to do these things. And that's why I think these are going to be more important to us than vehicle to load. Vehicle to load is going to be something that comes in all electric cars, I think. But I think what you actually want is a portable battery because you don't have to run those extension leads. So it's just like a home storage battery with your house. It's fixed to your house. The power you get there from your solar panels and your battery that you have there is fixed to the location of your house. Vehicle to load is the same. When it's provided with the car, it's fixed to the car. So the car has to be there. These don't. These can go anywhere. And this one, it's not that bad. 
It's a Delta Mini, um, it's quite small. This one's, um, oh, I'm gonna have to do this from the top of my head. It's, I think it's 882 watt hours of capacity, but it can output 1.4 kilowatts of power. So enough to power uh, an air fryer, enough to power a vacuum cleaner, enough to power all sorts of power tools and charge up all sorts of things. But it's also got this X-Boost capability where it can power up to 2.1 kilowatts of power for things like radiators, heaters. Um, I think a, a bigger air fryer works as well because this one's slightly over 1400 and it still works. So uh, on the back here, whoops. On the back, we've got the power sockets where I've got my three, three pin plugs plugged in. The device is powered on at the front. Uh, all I have to do is press the on switch and turn the device on. And lo and behold, my air fryer is heating up my sausage roll. So I've come out for some hot food. In fact, let's, that's a little bit noisy, so let's turn that off. Why do I think vehicle to load and why do I think these portable batteries are going to be something that we all want and it's to do with convenience so let, let's go let's go back a while we all carry mobile phones with us and we now carry battery banks to charge up our mobile phones and our tablets because we need more power so when mobile phones came out I was one of the first people to buy a mobile phone um, it cost me a fortune and uh, it was about this long it was portable it would go in my pocket it was a what do they call it a Hutchinson rabbit phone and it was absolutely great worked perfectly lovely for phone calls but the only problem was I had no one to call no one else had a mobile phone um, so I could call my mum and dad at the house but I only just saw them, so you know, what was the point in calling them? So I had this great mobile phone with no one to call. And there you go, I didn't know what to use it for. I didn't know that I wanted one. I didn't know all the different things that I'd be able to use it for in the future. So along came text messaging, along came internet connections, cameras, video connections, social media. All of those wonderful things that we now take for granted with tablets and mobile phones. So those are connected to us now and we use them all of the time in our lives. So we need to charge them. And that's why we need these power banks. So the trend is more power. The trend is more devices. The trend is more flexibility and more convenience to us for more devices. And what we really don't want to do is keep buying a duplicate device. We don't want to buy a separate device to use at home and a separate one to connect to a 12 volt supply in a car. What we want is to be able to share those devices and use them. We want to take a computer with us, a laptop, an air fryer, a coffee maker. We want a vacuum cleaner. We want all of those things. And we just take the household ones with a three pin plug in the UK. And then we can connect it to these things and we can use it anywhere we want. So my thought is, the trend is about more power. The trend is about convenience. The trend is about having more things with us that are convenient. And yes, we all go on picnics and we all go on kids' parties when we've got uh, family, etc. We all go to places where the garden's a long way away and you have to run an extension lead to do things. You might want some music playing or some lights in the evening. Who knows what it is? It might be trimming the hedge at the end of a really long garden. There's so many things where you need power and you need these extension leads to connect to these fixed locations as to where your power is. You don't with this. And that's, that, that's the beauty, I think, of these devices over vehicle to load because if you're buying one of these you've got it for all of those extra things you've got it for this coming out in the middle of nowhere and i want my um, hot sausage roll i want my cup of coffee I, I want my picnic to have more than just cold food i can for goodness sake i can cook the kids some chips i can cook fish and chips i can have burgers i can have steaks i, I can have cheese on toast i can have Goodness knows what in just this one device in an air fryer. Imagine if I had a hob too, where I could boil water and um, boil and cook other things in other ways. There's so many things that you can use these devices for. And that's what I think is gonna happen. Once we've got power on the move and you've got it in your car and you take it wherever you go, you've always got power with you. And therefore that will encourage us to have more devices with us to make our lives more convenient. So yes, I think Although at the moment you don't think you need one of these, because I mean, you don't carry a petrol generator around in your car, do you? So you don't need power wherever you go. And that's my point. We don't appear to need it, 
But once we've got it and it's available, look at all the things that we'll start to use it for and we'll start to think, how did I manage without one? And yes, I'm addicted to solar power and batteries. So of course I need more batteries in my life and one I can take anywhere with me, even to the beach. That really makes a lot of sense to me. So this device itself, um, EcoFlow make two ranges of batteries from what I can see so far. There's the river range and the delta range. The river's smaller, they're, they're not as small as a power bank, but they're um, half the size or a fraction of the size of these big deltas. They're more for charging devices, cameras, drones, tablets, phones, all sorts of things. Yes, they have a 13, I'm not sure if it's a 13 amp, they have a three pin plug and it can power devices, but probably only up to a few hundred watts, so three, four, five hundred watts, etc. So much smaller capabilities. The Delta range is more professional, and this is the entry level, the Delta Mini. So they have the Delta Mini, the Delta Max, and the Delta Pro, and they go up to sizes where you can have additional batteries that you plug in. They're big enough and powerful enough to power your house. So, so these batteries are really, really capable for any solution you might want, whether it's on a boat, whether it's, um, in a RV, in a motorhome, um, camping, holiday home, garden shed that you haven't got electric run out to, whatever it is, these are what you want. Now, EcoFlow, why would I recommend EcoFlow? And yeah, if you're interested in one of these, I recommend you definitely go and look at it, look at the specs and see whether it fits what you want. Firstly, it's robust. The handles are great. It's a really solid build. It doesn't feel cheap and nasty. I like that. The power output capability is top of the range as well. For the amount of capacity of battery, the output of power from this, I think beats anything else I've seen on the market. But equally, it's charging ability. The speed of which this can charge is faster than other devices as well. This maxes out at about 900 watts charging. And it's programmable. You can charge it from 200 watts all the way through to 900 watts so you can adjust that there's an app as well so you can monitor the devices you can turn devices on and off and you can control the charging rates all from the app so this video is only a brief introduction to talk about this EcoFlow. hopefully i'll do another video and talk about the specs in more details have a look at it online google the specs see what you think delta mini EcoFlow delta mini is the device i'm sort of gobsmacked by it um because I was thinking about these devices a while ago. I um, sent off an email to EcoFlow to ask them whether they would allow me to test one of these because I liked the idea of vehicle to load, but I wanted one I could pick up out of my car and take with me elsewhere. And of course, the car that I have, Mini Electric, doesn't have vehicle to load, so it does now. I've got this in the back of the Mini. I have vehicle to load. The only difference between this and, say, the Ionic 5 and EV6 vehicle to load, it's got a huge battery to use, so they can run it for ages and ages. But with a solar panel or connecting this DC socket to the car, this can recharge while I'm using it as well. So not only can I be powering things now, I could be charging from the sun right now so that this device was powered partly by solar, partly by the battery. And when I finished using that, it'll keep on powering. So the 882 watt hours of capacity out of this thing, which I've tested, um, oh, what did I use? I used a hairdryer, I think as a heater, to see how long I could run that and run the battery down. And I got uh, 770, this is off the top of my head again, sorry, 770 watt hours of usable energy out of it. Now that might not sound like a lot, but if you think of something like one of these um, fridges, coolers that go in your car for 20 or 30 litres of storage, so a mini fridge, they only run at 45 watts. I saw a 20 litre one yesterday. So 45 watts out of this will run for 17 hours. So that's way more than a day. So if you're going to go out to a car boot sale and um, sell some electrical devices, having some power with you to sell those devices and prove they work, that's excellent. If you want to take some uh, refrigerated things, um, some things that will perish in the sun, etc., you can take one of these mini fridges and power it from these wherever you are. So Susan's going to be using this when she goes to dog shows. Um, she's going to use it to make fresh coffee. So no more taking a flask, no more having odd tasting coffee and odd tasting tea out of a flask she can make it fresh whenever she wants if she wants she can take the nespresso coffee machine that we have and make nespresso coffee where she's going <laughs> air fryer dinging again 
Anyway, it's time for me to uh, make my coffee and uh, have my sausage roll. So. Off we go. So there you go, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, hope it makes sense. And uh, if you're interested in buying one of these, go over to uh, the description of the video below and uh, you'll see a link. There is a referral code for myself with EcoFlow. I'm not sure if you get a discount on that, but you will give some benefit back to me. So I hope you don't mind, I hope that's okay. And if you're interested in buying EcoFlow, use my referral code. This video is powered by EcoFlow. <laughs> actually powered. I charged all my devices and cameras using this device. So thank you very much EcoFlow and uh, thank you again for watching. Take care. See you again soon. Bye for now.